Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Teched Off again, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I was able to free up some very valuable real estate at my setup by solving what I seem to found is a pretty common problem with a lot of aspiring musicians with their setups. And that problem is where do you put your MIDI keyboard or digital piano when you're not using it? So in this video, I'm gonna show you what I did and what I used, how I put it all together and brought it into a nice cohesive finished product, and the final results, so you guys yourselves can be the judges of what you think how it turned out, and you can let me know what you think below. So, with all that said, let's get right into it. So, running through this project, it actually ended up turning out being a lot simpler than I thought it would be, and the only things I ended up needing, and you may need more or less depending on how you intend on doing it, but I needed the tracks itself, 2x4, ended up cutting it into a couple 14-inch pieces, uh, the L brackets, ended up using eight of those, some 3 quarter inch screws, probably a couple dozen you'll probably end up needing, your shelf itself, made of whatever material you decide to use. I used shelf board and you're gonna wanna cut that down to the size that you want. You're gonna need a drill to get those screws in and you may or may not need a square tool. I did because I didn't put the track in the shelf before installing because there wasn't enough room for my drill. But if you're not extending it with the two by four, you would not need that. And remember the thing to keep in mind with these type of shelves, especially if you're making one as big as I am, is your shelf is really only as strong as, well, the shelf itself. So I wouldn't really recommend anything less than a half inch thick and I'm sure no one would really use that anyway that kind of goes without saying but just in case you didn't know I probably recommend at minimum a half inch and if you're going as wide as I am three quarter inch to even an inch thick would be better just for some additional support so measuring the distance from the actual table to the bottom of our mounting point we get about let's see roughly seven and a quarter inches so like I said before, the shelf is about three quarter inches thick. So that gives you about six and a half inches and the piano being five and a half inches, we should have about an extra inch to work with on top of the keyboard, which is probably a little more than necessary, but I don't want it too close just in case I ever put a new piano in there, something taller. So a half inch to an inch would probably be ideal just to give yourself some extra wiggle room there. So the big question is, how do I actually attach that huge shelf to the underside of the table itself? And the answer is, two of these and what these are is just a 2x4 cut to 14 inches not exact but close enough Let me just show you guys just so you can see for yourself about 14 inches which is coincidentally the length of the track but it can be any size you need 14 inches is just a balance of the space i had to work with and trying to get as close to this length as possible it's those and then obviously the track itself attached to the two by four on end with four screws here 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 and here and to actually attach this whole assembly i guess to the table itself is four simple one and a half inch L brackets. And I kind of offset them just to try to distribute the weight a little bit better, but you could probably just put them two on each end as well. And that would probably work fine for you. But two screws, these are, I believe they are three quarter inch that came with these brackets actually, which is really nice. And I'll have a link to them. I got them from Home Depot in the description below. If you're interested, you just stick two of them in there and then we'll stick two of them, obviously through each of here to actually hold it underneath table i will attach the shelf actually to the other side of these it's actually going to be like this so i should show you like this shelf sits on these same as the other one and you screw from the underside in four places so that's kind of how you hold the whole thing together so because the piano is so thick i decided to use these extenders here these table risers to actually raise the desk up because otherwise my piano would be down below my knees and i wouldn't be able to play it so in exchange for adding extra depth below the desk i decided to actually raise the desk up higher to compensate for that decreased height with the piano so i ended up raising my desk about four inches i'll have a link to these uh, desk risers in the description below as well they're only about 15 20 bucks but very easy to install and very effective at what i needed them to do so this is the finished product it wasn't as daunting as i thought it would be uh watching a few youtube videos here and there looking around the internet i couldn't really find any pre-made stuff that was big enough for something like this so obviously Obviously it's not exactly what these tracks are intended for, but frees up a ton of space on your desk or in my instance next to my door to my room so I'm not hitting the piano anymore, which is nice. And making it easier to play is always a good thing because then you'll want to play it more. If you have any questions, please ask below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time. Peace guys.